Hey guys, so within the company, we are growing and there are so many changes. So I just wanted to share something new and exciting that's happening this week. So I've shared before about our inspirational morning vitamin call, which we call our IMV. And normally it's a phone call and you dial in and you listen. And we have passed 75,000 agents now. So they're changing it or they have changed it to a Zoom call. So for this week, I'm going to share the IMV with you. So you could see some of the leadership and hear some of the things that they have to say. It is designed to help you build, push you in your life and in your business, right? So I hope you are able to take some nuggets away from it and apply it to your day. So without any further ado, here's the Daily IMV. Of a quarter of a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Monday morning edition of the Inspiration Morning Vitamin. Please raise your coffee mugs and your cup of tea there in the UK and say a great morning to Mr. Walter C. Powell, the fourth. Great morning, Mr. Powell. How are you, sir? General Orlando Moore, and that's what we affectionately call you, the general. You say nothing of yourself, but you are a founding six-star director, three-time MVP. You don't need double diamond ring signifying the earnings of at least $83,333 per month. Not only that general, that you also have many people earning six figures in your operation, sapphire rings, quarter of a million dollars, ruby rings, two people even having a half a million dollars of diamond ring, and one other person who's a two-time MVP having a double diamond ring. General Moore, how you doing this morning? You look, you look as sound as bad as you did on the phone. You're, you're looking good, <laughs> sir. You're looking good. Well, Mr. Bob, I'm super excited about this evolution of Planet Marketing, man, and where we have taken this thing to a whole nother dimension. Uh, being, again, able to accommodate more uh, viewers now, Mr. Powell, more listeners, because people are still able to dial in as they're on their way to work and doing the things they're doing, getting the kids ready for school, all the things they're doing every morning, but it's even greater to have a greater capacity to really accommodate all the Planet Marketing representatives and the guests who are tuned in to see about this winning culture and winning environment. Mr. Powell, your thoughts about this before we actually jump into our topic for this morning, man, because this is what it's really all about, reaching more people and really empowering people every weekday morning. We've been doing this for years, Mr. Powell, 52 weeks. General Moore, again, it speaks to the brilliance, the magnificence, and the innovation of Mr. Donald Bradley. Who, again, would think about a planet marketing network, right? <laughs> That's what this is. It's a network. It's a television show, not only to give you the information wholeheartedly, but give you also a visual. Think about this. Mr. Bradley's sole purpose is to make sure that everybody that could be and should be impacted will be impacted. That's why he decided, decided to go to a planet marketing IMV Zoom. And General Moore, I'm excited about what we're about to undertake today like never before. Man, Mr. Powell, I'll tell you what, I'm super excited about what's happening around the planet. And those of you who are joining us for the first time again, you are definitely in for a treat. And Mr. Powell, this morning, I thought we'd talk about uh, four traits successful entrepreneurs have in common that sets them apart from everyone else. Because the fact is, Mr. Powell, that's one of the things Mr. Brand has really taught us. And again, in this industry, we are business owners, right? We are entrepreneurs. And some people never really take on that role or responsibility. And I noticed that, Mr. Powell, and I'll be transparent, even myself. Early in my career, I didn't necessarily take on the role or view myself as an entrepreneur because we're not traditional entrepreneurs from the standpoint, Mr. Powell, that we have a brick and mortar, that we go get a loan, that we had to do all these things, we had to look for investors. We're not traditional entrepreneurs from that standpoint, but we are entrepreneurs. And let's talk about that this morning, and again, because you've been an entrepreneur, right, traditionally, and here in this industry, and if we're going to unpack these four traits and talk about why entrepreneurs are important. Mr. Powell, your thoughts about these four traits we're going to talk about as entrepreneurs? I, I love it, General Moore, because I was, as I was viewing the, the, the traits, I thought about, first of all, when you're talking about entrepreneurship, being in business for yourself, even if you are having an employer and you're an employee, you're still working for yourself because the one thing that you are selling is your time or reselling as your time. So what I saw to speak. And anytime you negotiate a salary, General Moore, or a compensation, guess what? You're working for yourself, and that was negotiable. And that is what we call your compensation from the work that you've done. Well, here the compensation is limitless. That's why we love the word entrepreneur. That's why we decided to get into the world's largest industry, which is travel, General Moore. So let's get into number one, General Moore. Man. Early risers, General Moore. <laughs> early risers. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Powell, I, I got to read this real quick, real quick, because, again, this really resonated with me, too. 
An entrepreneur is mandated, Mr. Powell, mm -hmm. with the task of not just looking out for himself or herself only, but also procuring ways to ameliorate the standard of living for others. And Mr. Powell, I had to look up the definition of the word ameliorate. <laughs> I didn't know what ameliorate, ameliorate meant, Mr. Powell, but it's to make something bad or unsatisfactory better. Mm -hmm. So that's the role of an entrepreneur. Now, anyone can be an entrepreneur, but being a successful one requires um, traits, Mr. Powell, that are not otherwise common to the vast population of individuals in the world. So when we think about that, Mr. Powell, our mandate, let's start there, our mandate as entrepreneurs to make things better for others. So think about that itself, Mr. Powell, Mr. Bradley, the owner of the company, founder of the company, visionary, we didn't have to make the investments that he made, but we get to exercise our entrepreneur rights. We get to make things better for our lives and other people, Mr. Powell, because of this vehicle. And, as you're, and, you, and you're right. Number one, the first trait of successful entrepreneurs, they are early risers. Now, Mr. Powell, I love this because the scientists say that you need at least eight hours of sleep, uninterrupted sleep, Mr. Powell, to really have the optimal good night's rest. That's what the scientists say. But here's the thing I love, Mr. Powell. Good sleep is measured by quality, not by quantity. Mr. Powell, you can sleep eight to 10 hours, but if you slept restlessly, if you didn't, if you woke, you can still wake up with a dizzy headache, all those things. Mr. Powell, do you know, again, I used to think I needed six to eight hours of sleep. But even as a drill sergeant, I got four hours, Mr. Powell. And guess what? I got to, to operate at optimal level. So it doesn't take eight to 10 hours of sleep. But those people say, no, I need my rest. You do. But good rest, Mr. Powell, a good night's sleep. It's not about quality. It's about the quantity. Mr. Powell, your thoughts, early risers. General Moore, one of the things I can appreciate about this is the word rest. And the word rest, and when you rest in something, it it gives it it shows you that you are confident. It shows that you are reliant. It shows that you have an expectation of something good happening. When you use the word rest and the word unrest, General Moore, let's think about that. People who are unrest or have unrest or restlessness means that they're worried about something. They have some anxiety. They have something to come that they believe that they can't handle. But when you rest, General Moore, it's a certain confidence that you have, right? It's a certain countenance that you possess. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt, all the things that I may or may not be facing is going to go in my favor. That's why we have rest and restlessness. When people are sleeping, they're not resting. Because why? They're worried and concerned. And we're here to tell you that we're going to give you all the tools, all the equipment to make certain that your planning marketing business, as well as your nuggets in life and your elements of life, more, more importantly, General Moore, make certain that those things are achievable and make sure your goals are attainable. Why? Because we're not going to be restless, but we're going to, in fact, have abundant rest, General Moore. Number one trait, ladies and gentlemen, of successful entrepreneurs, early risers. I want somebody to put in the chat, get up, <laughs> get up, <laughs> right? Get up. Mr. Bob, you got to rise and shine, as we used to always say, right? Rise, rise and shine. shine. Rise and shine, baby. And in the military, Mr. Powell, we used to always say, that used to be a, a army motto. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. And that was true because we was up during physical fitness, got our exercise in, doing all the things, Mr. Powell. So the same principle as an entrepreneur. So wake up early, guys. Don't sleep in. You're sleeping on your business. And I love what Mr. Bradley used to say. He's like, man, when I'm on the West Coast, I still got to be up early because the people on the East Coast, they up. Mr. Powell, that's a big deal. Early rising. Second trait, Mr. Powell, about successful entrepreneurs, they are not busy. They are productive. That's good. Mr. Powell, everybody wants you to take inventory of yourself in your planning marketing business, are you busy or are you productive? Income producing activity. Mr. Bob, we talk about it all the time. Let's talk to the listeners this morning, our planning marketing reps. What does that productiveness look like, Mr. Powell? They're not just busy, but productive. Talk about it. General Moore, a lot of times people are what we call busy bees, right? They are doing the things that they think brings productivity, but it doesn't. I always mention this, this is never mistaken effort for a result. Mm -hmm. Never. Just because you made an effort doesn't mean you're going to get the result that you desire. You may get a result. You may get any result. But to be productive, General Moore, you have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. 
right? It's the thing that you set out to accomplish. When you're talking about being productive, you have to separate what is urgent from what is important, right? If that makes sense. You got things that are urgent that, yeah, these are the things I have to do. Then you got things that are important. These are the things that I cannot afford not to do. And when you talk about productivity, General Moore, when you rise up early, the one thing I did when I rise up every morning, I don't need to get my me time, my personal time, because I understand that when the day gets going, I'm not going to have a lot of time to myself to study, to meditate, to do the things I need to do personally for me. So, General Moore, it is important that when we seek productivity, that we seek results. Bronze, silver, gold, DIT, 2020, one, two, three, four, five, six stars. That's productivity, General Moore. Speak on that. Oh, my goodness. I love that, Mr. Powell. Again, and that's why I love what Planet Market has done. Again, the way Mr. Bradley has this structured reward, what we want repeat, repeated. There are benchmarks mm -hmm. to show you the results of your productivity. As you mentioned, the bronze, silver, gold, and everybody can go for that. In your business, how productive are you? And at the end of the day, Mr. Bob, what are we talking about if we're not talking about income producing activity? What are we talking about if we're not talking about the next level? So this morning, I want everybody to look and think, am I really going for my next level? Or have you gotten comfortable at bronze, at silver, at gold, at one, two, three, four, five? Have you gotten comfortable? Or is that gold still in front of you? Which brings us to our next point, Mr. Powell. Successful entrepreneurs, they don't shy away from risk. Mm. Now, Mr. Powell, we know that the company has mitigated all the risks. So we're not talking about risk like that. And $200, Mr. Powell, for the investment, that's not a risk, right? That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's not even a decision. That's a discussion as to what you want to call your business. $200. We're not about a risk like that. The guarantees that Planet Market got in place 90 days as a rep. Guaranteed, Mr. Powell? So we're not talking about risk like that. But in our business, Mr. Powell, some people risk some criticism. Mm. Some people risk being ridiculed. Some people risk, Mr. Powell, being talked about. Some people risk some social proof, right? Some social, all those things. Now, what do I mean by that, Mr. Powell? My friends who used to be my friends, now they go the other way when they see me coming <laughs> because we don't have the same goals and dreams. Mr. Powell, those people who used to be skeptical, I'm looking for some new skeptics because now they all are believers. Now, Mr. Powell, when you think about the risk, some people don't want that, that, that stereotype, if you will, mm. that you're doing one of those things. Mr. Powell, I was a professional soldier, but do you think I was concerned about what people thought about me when I started doing this business? Mr. Powell, do you think today I'm concerned about people who have nothing to do with paying my bills, <laughs> right? The risk, Mr. Powell, some people are concerned about the risk, but true entrepreneurs, they don't shy away from risk. So I love the naysayers, Mr. Powell. I love the people who don't believe in me. I love those people who say, oh, you're not going to. I love that. Mr. Powell, on true entrepreneurs, the successful ones, they don't shy away from the risk. And the risk is different here, Mr. Powell, because you're not talking about risking right. losing an investment. Mr. Powell, your thoughts on successful entrepreneurs, they don't shy away from risk. Moore, in other words, you have to be vulnerable, right? You got to mm -hmm. subject yourself to all the ridicule, to sometimes the embarrassment and the shame with being entrepreneurs because you have to put yourself out there. You have to do something ordinarily that you have probably never done before, right? I heard Mr. White always say, comfort holds more people prisoner than all the jails combined. Mm -hmm. And General Moore, you and I always emphasize about getting out of your comfort zone. We talk about that. You can't be comfortable in the things that you want to do for the things that you need to do. And that is to free your, your, your family and yourself. So when you talk about risk, General you know, Moore, and accepting the risk, it comes with entrepreneurship. The fortune favors the bold. Point blank and period, General. If you want a fortune, you got to be bold. You got to be bodacious. You got to be aggressive. You got to be unapologetic. You got to be in pursuit of your dreams and your passions. Because General you know, Moore, there's an enemy. And the enemy is making certain that you don't hit your goals and neither your dreams come true. And guess what, General? Therefore, therefore, they're on the risk. It's only reward. Back to you, General. Oh, I love that, Mr. Powell. And you know what I thought about when you said, again, the fortune favors the bowl? Mr. Powell, you know what I thought about? Again, because now you're talking about not being timid. Mm. And you know what I learned? Because we're in sales. But do you know, Mr. Powell, that timid salespeople have skinny kids? <laughs> <laughs> Tim and Sam, we about skinny kids, Mr. Powell. So you can't be timid. <laughs> General, what does that mean to skinny kids? That might have went over a lot of people's heads. 
And it's about that means as a salesperson, right? Again, because we all in sales. If you're timid, you're not making sales. That means you're not making no money. Mm. That means you're not feeding your family. So mm. timid salespeople have skinny kids, Mr. Mm. Bob. That means you're not able to feed your family like you need to, not be able to take care of your family like you're supposed to. That's what that means, Mr. Powell. So you're talking about the favor, uh, I mean, the fortune favors the bold. That's the first thing I thought about. You can't be timid. And in this business, it's called posture. Mr. Powell, it's called posture. And my yes. posture is not weak because what we have is so strong. Yes. How your posture going to be weak and what we have is so strong? Mr. Powell, let's finish this last one, man, because we're almost out of time. Last trait of successful entrepreneurs, they accommodate their mistakes and failures. Mm. Mr. Powell, I love this. I love this. And that's what I've learned, Mr. Powell. Even from a leader standpoint, most champions, they accommodate their failures and mistakes, meaning they don't shy away when they make mistakes. Mr. Powell, I don't, you don't ever act like you're perfect. You don't ever act like, oh, I got it all together. No, 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 no. Something you mentioned earlier too, Mr. Powell, you said you're vulnerable. You got to have that vulnerable state. So even as a leader and a successful entrepreneur, you got to be ready to accommodate your mistakes and failures. Mr. Powell, that's very important in this business because there's going to be a lot of mistakes that's made. But that's what Mr. Bradley taught us early about corrections and adjustments. It's okay to make the mistakes, but you got to correct them. Mm. You got to correct whatever action it is. And then make the adjustments and not keep making the same mistakes. Mr. Powell, your thoughts on this final trait, man. We're going to wrap up. General Moore, you, you said something. And, and, and what, I, what I've discovered is if you could eliminate the mistakes, you can alleviate the failures. Mm. Because the mistakes are the things that lead up to failures. <laughs> if, we, if we can correct those things, then we can eliminate the failures or have very few of them. Just think about that, General Moore. Think about what I, I, I talked about the work with commitment. And we understand that when people want to commit, people think there are no failures with commitment. Well, you cannot commit without a failure because a, a commitment equals a failure as well. Because when people fail and they stop doing what they're doing, guess what? It shows that lack of commitment. But it's only when people face adversity, overcome failure, and got their achievement, there lies the commitment. So when we're talking about being committed in your business, General Moore, we're talking about facing the failure, overcoming the failures, and eliminating the mistakes. Because the thing about entrepreneurship is that it is very rewarding, but it's also very daunting. Mm. It is. And the daunting part of it is it's not what it's not the external things, it's the things you tell yourself. The, the, the recordings that you have, oh, I can't do it. They're not going to join. I shouldn't tell them. No, they make too much money. They don't have enough money. All these preconceived notions when you should have the confidence, like you said, your strength and posture, because what we have, General Moore, is for everyone, whether you're 6 or 60, 7 or 70, 8 or 80, the same beach, the same seat on the plane, the same room at the hotel. If this is all. We don't have to have a different molecular structure. So it, it, it feels different than the sand on the beach, feels different than you, than it does me, General Moore. It doesn't. That's why we chose travel, and that's why we're doing it in planning off. And General Moore, it's been a plum, pleasing pleasure to serve it to our first <laughs> Planet Marketing, IMD, live, Zoom, man, I'm excited. <laughs> Mr. Powell, I appreciate you as well, man. And it is exciting, Mr. Powell. And last point, Mr. Powell, I want to make to what you was talking about, about failure. Uh, and again, when you think about it, failure is never fatal unless you mm. make it final. Mm. Failure is never fatal unless you make it final. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to fail in this business if you keep going. You're not going to fail in your business if you keep going, if you keep pushing, if you keep believing, if you stay plugged in, if you stay connected, if you ex exercise all the things that we talk about, if you execute these notes you took this morning, when you bring those notes to life, you're going to win in your business as an entrepreneur. And I want everybody to say that, Mr. Bob, we open the lines. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that today. That's right. But put it in the <laughs> y'all. Correction and adjustment, Ms. Bob. We won't be able to speak it, but put it in the chat. I am an entrepreneur. That's it. what I'm here about putting in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in this first edition, Mr. Powell. There can only be one first. First edition <laughs> of the Inspiration Morning Vitamins show. 
via Zoom. And ladies and gentlemen, go to your Planet Marketing back office. Look at the Planet Marketing app. The seven-year anniversary is running mm. rapid. Every city, every major city, you name it, Mr. Powell, is happening. And tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina, is going down in a major way. In Huntsville, Alabama, seven-year anniversary celebration tonight, going down in a major way. And in Orlando, Florida, uh, Mr. Shedrick White and a host of other champions going to be in Orlando, Florida uh, tonight as well, Mr. Powell. And again, I'm just so excited, man, about what's happening here at Planet Marketing. Seven-year anniversary. And Mr. Bob, this is the week we lead up to the gala, baby, and the black tie. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mr. Powell. Real quick, man. I know we over time. Mr. Powell, but my goodness. Never miss an event you qualified to attend. I'm, I'm excited, Mr. Powell. Your thoughts real quick, man, because the seven years, seven years, baby. Come on. Man, General Moore, and, and the reason why I'm excited, I am elated and I am so appreciative of the opportunity to be a part of something that is so illustrious. Something that, again, is going to go into the annuals of network marketing. Because when people are going to see planet marketing, they're going to see a company that has demonstrated the highest level of entrepreneurship and professionalism, General Moore. And you're talking about seven years is going to culminate with our black tie event. This, again, it, it speaks to the vision of Mr. Bradley. It, it speaks to just the, the width and the depth of his vision and his love, his concern of what Mr. Bradley and Mrs. Bradley, again, man, the black tie is going to be, for, and we're not just talking about any, like a, like a black tie, like a prime. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a band. We're talking about presentations. We're talking, I mean, it's it's like a gala. That's what we it should call gala. it. it it's gala. like a gala. That's what <laughs> she called it. So I'm not going to say anything more, General Moore, again. I'm excited. I'm happy to be an entrepreneur, especially in planning marketing, my especially man. in planning marketing. General my Moore. man, my man. I rendered you a Chris salute, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, go to your back office. I think there might be a few tickets left for the Leadership Summit. It's only 300. But it might be a few tickets left for the Leadership Summit. Don't quote me on that. Check your back office in Las Vegas, January 19th through the 21st. If there are some tickets available, you got to be a gold builder. You have to be a gold builder and above. Get your Leadership Summit ticket. Get ready for a convention for next year. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Don't hesitate. Mr. Bob, it's so much happening, man. And again, thank you all so much for joining us on this very first edition of the Inspiration Morning Vitamin via Zoom. And we're going to see y'all tomorrow morning, same bad time, same bad channel, with Superstar Director Mrs. Miller, Miss Melody Washington, our sister in success. And again, and Miss Petro Daniels, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be on her with her tomorrow night, tomorrow row, Creatures of Habit. And guys, we're going to see y'all at the top or from the top, but it will be the very tip top. Mr. Powell, I love you, my brother. And know you can give a lot of love you back. Y'all be blessed, together, beautiful y'all. people. Y'all be blessed, beautiful people. Y'all be great. Okay guys, it's Helene and I'm back and I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed that experience of our daily inspirational morning vitamin call that happens every weekday morning here in Planet Marketing. So if you have any questions about becoming part of our team, my team specifically, and being part of the culture here at Planet Marketing, definitely do not hesitate to reach out and ask any questions. I would love to help you get started. All right, so again, I hope you were able to take some nuggets away from our daily inspirational morning vitamin call. I am Helene Joseph, your travel partner, and looking forward to hearing from you.